Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and welcome to another episode of The Basics. In this episode, I'm going to give you an introduction into advanced lighting communications protocols. Let's begin. Make sure to check the link above for my video on the basics of DMX or digital multiplex communications protocols. With the advancement of technology, the need for more advanced and efficient communications became a necessity. By the time the US ITT came up with the next protocol, which was ACN, other companies had already started developing their own communications protocols to keep up with technology. These include ArcNet, CleanNet, RDM, and others. Basically, they have the ability to transmit massive amounts of data over dedicated Ethernet networks to allow for hundreds if not thousands of lights to control seamlessly in one show or event. By the time all these protocols have come out, the US ITT's ACN was a bit outdated. So just recently, the US ITT has come out with the streaming ACN, which is their current protocol. These systems can also integrate media servers and other types of media into the show, thus increasing the participants' overall experience. Lights that greatly benefit from these types of communications protocols are fixtures that use pixel mapping, projection, LED walls, and other advanced technology. Now, to give you some perspective on how much data can be transmitted, the original DMX512 communication system allowed for 512 individual channels to be sent over a DMX cable. Some of the newer systems can send 512 channels times 20 over a single Cat5 cable. That's 10,240 individual channels sent over one cable. There are others that could surpass that as well. As technology increases, so does the need for larger and more efficient ways to transmit data from the control console to the fixtures. There's a lot more I could go into, but I hope this gives you a basic understanding of how these amazing shows and concerts are created, like the Olympics. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you have a specific topic that you would like me to cover in a future video, please leave it in the comments below. See you in the next video.